Okay, guys, this paper doesn't have a place to put your name, so go ahead and put it at the very top of your page. And this one, again, says measuring in centimeters. So if you have not gotten a ruler yet, you're going to go to the front of the room, grab it from the top drawer of the green, the three green drawers that are up there. And we need to find the center or the centimeters side. So if I'm looking at this side here, my numbers are farther apart. This other side, my numbers are closer together. So I know centimeters, my numbers should be closer together. And a lot of times we see CM right here. I see MM, but we should see CM like we do right here. And that tells us this is the centimeter side. So make sure you're on this side. I'm going to line my lineup at the zero tick. And then I put my ruler down and I see what number is closest to the end of the line. So it comes right here, which means it's closer to the seven because this is the half tick here. So it's past the half tick. So this is seven and right above it on the line is where we'll write it. So seven and then label it centimeters CM. Okay, second line, lining it up at the zero tick, exactly on that zero tick. And then I look here, and this one is on the half mark, which means it could be 13 or 14 right now. I'm going to pick 13 like we did last week, and our label is CM. Zero tick. This one is past this half mark, so I have to do the number it's closest to, which is 9 CM centimeters. This line, ooh, this one's really, really close. But if we measure it and line it up exactly, yeah, that actually is on the half tick. So here's the half tick. Remember for this one, we can either pick, if it's on the half, you can pick 15 or 16. Either one, you would get a right answer. I pick the smaller number, 15 centimeters. Okay, this next one I'm going to do, then you'll do the rest by yourself. This lined up at the zero tick. The line ends here. The half tick is here, which means this one is closer to 11 centimeters. Okay, you are doing the next five lines by yourself. Make sure you're very careful with your measuring and lining it up. Make, also make sure you put the CM at the end. Once you're done, turn it into the tray.